Welcome to my channel. I did um, been unpacking. So if you are new to my channel, we just bought this house. Um, we still got to get um, a couch and stuff. We have the other couch in the garage. But I did want to show you guys my prepper pantry. And here is an overview. So I am a, um, I call myself a semi prepper. I do have um, a large refrigerator and then um we also have a deep freezer so but this is my canned goods and i did want to do kind of a walk through and how i have it set up so i guess i'll just do i don't know shelf by shelf so that is my long-term storage of rice in a million different kinds of beans and i plan on filling that one up also i do have an empty space it's just hard for me to get up there that is potatoes. That is Rice Krispies for a Halloween one. Here is just tomato sauces. Here is lunch like bags and stuff. And then that, I didn't have any place for that. That is dishwasher pods. Here it goes. The second shelf, I do have some coconut milk and um, condensed milk. I have just two rows of that. Oh, my kids are walking the dog. Then this is just um, just different pastas, already made pastas. And this is just Kool-Aids and different seasonings. Here is Halloween candy I already got, raisins, um, like Cliff Bars, just some snacks, more healthier options. Here is a Gatorade. I like to always have Gatorade on hand. And then these I got from Dollar Tree. It just has rice, pastas, beans, sugar. I do have another sugar back there ready to refill. See, as you can see, the sugar is halfway full. And this is just oatmeal and soups that Frankie likes. Oops, I almost knocked a bunch of stuff down. Then I have some macaroni, more ready-made pastas, more pastas. I get these from Costco and more. Um, these are the ones in the boxes, Velveeta. The second row here, I got a ton of these Nors. There's different ones, so it's just all mixed up. Here is just extra seasonings, and then I have some meat choices back there that are shelf-stable, which is just pepperonis. I think I have three or four, probably three, because we just ate one. I have some mandarin oranges, some milk, Pop-Tarts, a couple things of peanut butter and rice, which let me put the rice up here. Put it. I just put it up there. I have some sofrito. This is just overstocked because where it is, it just doesn't fit. There's some large thing of peanuts back there. My husband loves vodka sauce, so I do have plenty. I have some cookies here. And then Chef Boyardee. My kids really don't eat stuff like that. Um... As a matter of fact, I've had that can forever, but I do have it in case some, you know, we can't get to the grocery store, the grocery stores are empty, things like that. I do have, I think there's just a four pack, and then lots of these Campbell's chicken noodle soups. Over here, I have just the stir fry mixes with vegetables, and then this whole section here is just fruit, so it's fruit cocktail, pineapple, and there's a lot, as you can see, and I've got them stacked too. And this may not look like a lot to you guys, but um, I do plan on getting more. But yeah, so these are just soups. There's different ones. There's beef pot roast. You guys may have seen it in my haul. 
I thought I had more tuna. I guess I only have one, so I will be getting a case of tuna. But I do have plenty of the chicken, which I do plan on getting more. I did try and, and make it where I had all of the same stuff in a row, but um, I think I kind of mixed them. So, yeah, so there's pinto beans. So there is four rows, and then each row has two. So they're just basically just different beans. Here is asparagus and spinach here. So, and that goes back pretty far. Here is potatoes, that whole row, gabonzo beans, here's more beans, baked beans, um, I got big old cans of refried beans back there. Here I, oh, sorry you guys, and I caught it, so I just got two little beans and franks, I do plan on getting some more of those, and in the very back, chili and beans. And then up front, that almost killed me here. I've got some butter beans. This is just a mix. I've got only one corned beef hash. And my husband loves that nacho stuff. And then here is Rotel and off-brand Rotel. ton of that because I always cook with Rotel. Now we're going to go to the, what is it, fourth shelf? Yeah. So I've got some El Pato. I need some more of that. I got some salsas and chilies here, and sorry you guys, I gotta have everything lined up, and and then I have some mushrooms there, and tomato paste, I obviously need more, I know that. I've got some enchilada sauce, I've got crab meat is in these, so sloppy joe mix, just one, and um, tamales. And then I do have some more spinach here. These are all the vegetables, sweet peas and mixed vegetables. This is all green beans, corn, and yes, I do need more. I know that. And then I found these at Walmart. And I didn't show this in a haul, but um, the reason why I'm doing this video too is because I did just go to Costco and Walmart. So I did kind of want to show you guys my groceries too. This is squash, you guys. I found it in the can, and I got spinach, too. found those at Walmart. These little containers are from Dollar Tree, and I do need more. But I'm just working with what I have. So I know I can kind of get this a little more organized. But So this is just like tomato sauces and stewed tomatoes. More potatoes. This is all chicken noodle soup, just different brands. This is Velveeta sauces, a um, couple tuna, um, chocolate, beans, stuff like that. Back here is pasta and croutons. Over here, I try to do sweet stuff. So, um, you know, pancake mixes, jello mixes, all that fun stuff. I do need some more taco shells. This is all spaghetti. And some more boxed rice things like that. Here's my liquid. So I've got um, lemons and lime juice. It's always good to have that. And then just my different syrups and stuff like that. I'm missing a box of cereal because it's on the counter. But I've got cereal that goes here. I couldn't stand it up. And I do plan on, since I have an empty one right there, transporting the box that's missing in that and then I've got some um, um, frostings back there my kids have been loving this raisin bran so raisin bran bread and I found it in great value so I got that I've got a case of pickles case of jalapenos I do have a water back here some um, sweet tea stuff some chi chai seeds I think got Lipton tea. I've got some oil, olive oil back there and country thyme lemonade back there. More pasta sauces and Velveeta sauces. This rice doesn't go here, but and then I got yams, more sauces. This stuff is amazing. It's $3 and some odd change, but you can find this at Walmart. Oh, it's so good. Um, just broths and then more sauces. 
So I've got Worcester shower, pesto sauce, barbecue sauce. These are all, well, these cleaning supplies, supplies shouldn't be here, but ranch, extra ketchup, um, coconut oil, things like that. And then this little shelf is just snacks. And then let me, so this is popcorn right here. That is my apron that I need to get something to hang up. Underneath that is canned bread, a whole bin of canned bread. This is where all our chips go. That over here is, um, what is that? Oh, coffee pods. So I've got coffee pods, an extra cereal, the go-go squeeze and mops, plus these. I've got, um, let me see three cases okay so i've got three cases of the kirkland brand which is frankie's favorite he does not like those mots ones so i plan on juicing so i'm gonna use those another thing of chocolate milk ritz some gatorades onions potatoes a random paper towel vinegar that is noodles a couple cases Carbonated water, another olive oil, some chips. So that is my pantry. I do have food in other places. So I'm going to show you real quick. And more condiments up there. So more ketchup and juices. I like to always have cranberry juice. And the other places that I have food besides the fridge is um, I have cases of water in the garage and um, water in my laundry room. But that is my pantry semi-filled. I am a large family of six. And my son, as a matter of fact, has three friends over right now. So we always have company. And um, yeah, give me some pointers. What are other things? I do want to get some, a large thing, a pancake mix. I don't know if I told you guys, right there's oatmeal. Give me some pointers of some other items that I can put in here that I like to have a working pantry, um, which means we actually eat the food. The only thing that we wouldn't grab for is the canned bread and that bin up there of rice and beans and then like the milks and stuff I do need to get a few more but yeah leave your comments down below let me know how um, send me even pictures of your working pantry and let me know of some ideas that I can add in here and also let me know comment down below if you guys want a fridge tour or deep freezer tour deep freezer is a little hard and that's in the garage but I could definitely do you a fridge tour especially that I went grocery shopping so it's nice and full but anyways guys thank you so much for watching my channel if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button bye